Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this afternoon? Thank God that we are here um, this afternoon. You know, life is short and time is precious. So I thank God for every breath that I take and for opening my eyes each and every day. I'm grateful and I hope that you are too. Time is the essence and um, time waits for nobody. So every minute, second, day, weeks and months and years that we can talk about it, we are blessed because time is not promised. So I hope that you are grateful for the breath that you take every day and that you can open up your eyes. So I want to say thank you for all the newcomers and I am grateful for all my old members who sit and watch my videos. Um, also, thank you for all those who like, comment, and leave comments. Thank you, a million. Um, we can all grow by becoming a family member of Bitesy Studio. So I'm really grateful to work with each and every one of y'all. Also, I want you to all know that when you get private readings from me, they are face-to-face -face reading. And so I get to see you and you get to see me. And I do your readings that day or the next day. I do not pass that. Okay? For all those who go onto my webpage and purchase any one of my items, okay? All right? Any one of my items, such as my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle, know that all of these candles that you see are my candles and they sit on my altar. But I make them to order. And when you order candles, that's when it's made for you, okay? Um, watch the way they burn. And also, I've been studying my candles to make them. And I didn't do it overnight, all right? Um, make sure that you um, look at the way they're burning, the way they leave your glass, all right? And as you light them, you tell them what that black magic breaking you want to be broken off of you, all right? Um, it, it's not even, you know, um, the way people do black magic on you. or um, It could be, uh, some people get real stupid at thinking they know what they're doing, all right? And it's not nothing to play with. But know that... Um, People pay other people to do things to people, all right? So that's why you got to be careful um, with everything about you, all right? Um, I feel, though, if I know someone doesn't like me, I don't want to eat off of their plate. I don't want to go sit in their house because you don't know what you leave behind that they can use on you. Okay, I'm very particular about everything. When I walk out somebody's door, I want to take everything I came in there with. Okay, I don't want to leave anything behind. I don't eat in everybody's house. I'm real funny about that, okay? Drinking out of glasses and all of that. You got to be careful what's going on, all right? And so people can um, do anything, even the way they look at you. Envy and jealousy in the way they talk about you, okay? So you got to be careful. But this is the candle for that. And you must always watch the way candles burn. All right, this is the Abundant Prosperity Healing Growth Wealth Fertility and Nature Candle, okay? This is the Love Yourself Candle. It's so important to love ourselves. Um, and envy can come with a lot of different ways. People that are your family. Kids, friends, wives, husbands, cousins, sisters, brothers, all right? People that you work with. This is the justice candle, all right, for those who are going to court, 
um, or even have families that are going to court or locked up or doing time or facing time, okay? This is um, the walnut, I mean, excuse me, this is the Palo Santo and the um, sage, all right? And this is the way my sage is, all right? Um, this is the walnut bath, and this walnut is to face all your shadow, and your shadow is the darkness that we all have, all right? These are my oils. My oils come in oils form and in dry form, okay? I also have crystals and stones, and crystals come in all colors and all shape, and they mean many different things. They are crystals for everything that you can possibly think that, that um, fits you from, from the way you feel to sickness to uh, your chakras. There are thousands and thousands of crystals out there and stones. You must find the one that represents you and what you're looking for, okay? These are my bracelets, right? Um, I'm big on the evil eye, as you can see around my home, all right, my room, my altar. These are the evil eye and also the seven chakras, right? And I also sell um, the red brick dust. This is good for protection, all right? I um, take this and put it around my house, but I'm in a house. If you got an apartment, you can put it in front of your door. If you in the house and you... You don't never know what kind of energy people carry. And let me tell you, it could be anything. It could be that your, your, your own family and then their kids come to your house. And then they know that something ain't right over there between you and them. And they want to carry that stuff back and forth, back and forth. Uh, be coming to your house, being um, disrespectful in any kind of way. Not speaking to you, walking in your house like they pay rent there. You know, people come up in many kind of forms and ways. All right, so you must always protect your energy, all right? This is the salt detox, spiritual salt detox bath, and this is good. This is um, cave salt, all right? So I don't use the cave salt in the salt scrub bath because there's two different salts, all right? Um, I also got herbs in a bag that you can um, get to purify yourself or break energies off of you, okay? Now, y'all all know that I always, before I start any reading, I put the evil eye on me to protect because I deal with a lot of people on an everyday basis, okay? And so I need to uh, put this on. I don't know who's the cross watcher. I don't know, all right? And so I'm always protecting myself with this, okay? So, let's get started with your reading, Pisces. Let's get started. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, and that you're truly blessed, all right? Uh, Pisces, good things come to those who wait patiently. And not in a rush to have it. Alright? If you in a rush to have it, then you already gonna know what you're gonna get. I take my vitamins, so let's get with that. I've been doing readings all day. But I take a break to do this reading because I have to do this reading. Alright, Pisces, here we go. All right, now let's get going with this. All right, Archangel and Jonah Art. Please help me do this reading. Please help me do this reading here. All right? All right. Here we go. Tell me what my lovely Pisces need to know. Tell me what my lovely Pisces need to know. 
So you got the four of pentacles. Holding on. Let's see what you're holding on to. What is this that you... You're far, you know, like you are, uh, the village is over there and I live here. These people live over there and I live here. But I don't want no one to be in my business. So I'm keeping everything to myself. Okay? And I mean everything to myself, okay? Everything. All right? You can't tell people your business. You cannot do that. All right? I don't care if you paint in your walls. Purple. Don't tell nobody nothing. I don't care if you went in. Bought a lipstick. Don't tell nobody nothing. All right? Don't tell nobody anything. If you got a new job, if you got a car, whatever, don't tell nobody anything. You got the nine of wands and you got the temperance. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. And then you got the page of swords. All right, Pisces, what is it that you keep keeping to yourself, right? What is it? What is it that you are not talking about? It's something here that you just stand to yourself, right? Holding on, possessions, okay? You may be holding on too tight to an outgoing or a situation. Energy works Best when it can flow and not be trapped. All right? There is a thin line between love and obsession. All right? You need to trust that you already, that you already, even through you might feel that you aren't, that you already enough. Now, Sometimes we hold on to things so tight because we don't want to let go. Or we hold on it for, hold on to your money, hold on to relationships, hold on to situations there. Too tight. Why should you hold on it so tight? What is it, excuse me, Pisces, that you holding on so, I mean, so damn tight. This don't make no sense. Like you are just holding on for dear life. Possession, okay, um, like uh, something, what are you holding on so tight? The next card you got is the nines of wands, right? The nine of wands. So you tire, you try your best to be a hero for everyone, but on the inside, you cannot take it anymore. You are, you feel that everyone is um, falling apart, that everything is falling apart and time is running out. Is, is the uh, side you don't want others to know? Overwhelmed and blocked. What are you holding on so tight that it's like you don't want somebody to see what you're holding on so tight or you setting boundaries, right? Um, because the, not, the number nine is persevering, right? Putting boundaries. But what is it? You may be overworked and have all these things to do. But you're not letting nobody know that you what you're going through, right? But you can help everybody else, but you overwhelm with all of the responsibilities that you have, right? It's so much on you. So you really keep it to yourself, keeping your business to yourself, your money to yourself. But nobody seems to know how you can do all the work you do because it seems like you do everything and you make everything seem so easy, like you're not going through that. How I know it, because the next card you got that fell out with the nine of wands, temperance, right? So somehow, some way, and if uh, that may be Sagittarius, somehow, some way, 
It's the number 14 right after the death card, right? Um, so it's something here that's saying that you need to bring some type of balance to your life, right? Um, that you're not balanced, right? But you got to bring some type of balance to this to get to the solution, okay? Moderation. Uh, find your inner calmness. Don't allow yourself to be dragged into conflicts or problems. You may be in a situation where you have lost touch with your spiritual guidance. Keep boundaries and a clear mind, okay? There is no need to rush. Be patient towards your goals. Avoid confrontation. But don't be afraid to test or try. Stay aligning, aligned with your own, with your higher self. You can also look for a solution by doing energy work. All right? Boundaries and your chakras. This is the masculine and the feminine energy. Okay, this card can also mean to reach out to a professional spiritual guidance, right? You're doing a lot on your own, but nobody knows this because you keep it to yourself. That's why it shows the four pinnacles. Keeping all of this to yourself. Well, if people look at you, they think that, oh, ain't nothing wrong with you. That you, um, you show people, like, everything is smooth selling when it's not. When you're going through a lot by yourself, but you're not saying nothing to nobody. Can't nobody see that part of you. But, yeah, you are going through a lot, right? You may be helping in a family member, your kids, but you're going through a lot. Putting everybody before you, all right? Now, then you get the page of source, some type of news, or something's coming to light in your head because you got an open book, right? So, um, optimistic, talkative, gossiping. So, you maybe somebody wants, it's gossiping, but I feel like somebody is studying something. Get more information. They learn by observing. They are quick thinkers and does often use their um, thinking to push them ahead. Um, they can come across as blunt, insensitive, or a bit of a loner sometimes. They, they are very good at sticking to their goals, all right? So it's something here that you are doing by yourself, but you, you stay quiet. You don't want nobody to know what you're doing, all right? Or what you're going through with so much weight on your back. But you got to bring balance into your life. And then you come into this page, right, with this light over your head. All right, so you want to um, you want to do things, and it's like you something that you may be studying more of, but it's a light bulb. This this an open book that says, "All right, I can move forward, and I'm and I can do this." All right. Or now you're you're coming into a place where this is a whole new avenue that you're walking into. So somebody probably open up their spirituality and open up you two and say, "All right, well I need to look into this." Like some people never been um, watching YouTube. Some people been dealing with all of this weight by themselves, and all of this weight is on you. But you don't say nothing. So. Now you're looking for 
Let me see what these people got to say. So now you open up a box of Pandora to saying, now you got thousands and thousands of you tours, right? Ready to, to, to show you different cars or how they deal in this. Or what can tell you what's going on, right, in your life. But it's thousands and thousands of you tours and readers that read differently. Everybody has a, their own style of reading. Some of us go beyond what is a tarot card reading, and some of us just read what it says, right? But it's a story here to tell you about your situation, right? But it doesn't make one better than the other. It depends on what you're looking for, what kind of spirituality you're in, what you need to guide you, all right, to what... Is the problem in your life. Now you're looking for the solution. So you come into Pisces studio and you say, whoa, this lady looks like she's saying a lot over here. Or you may go to somebody else. Right? But here you are just keeping all your business to yourself. You ain't saying shit. But you got so much on your plate. It ain't enough time to do everything you got to do. But you make the jobs look so easy, but you're falling apart doing all this by yourself. It's a lot of weight on you, spiritually, emotionally, in the physical world, right? So the universe said you got an angel on your back that's watching and guiding you to get the help you need. You understand? And so you come to try to get balance between the world and the spiritual world. Because it's two worlds, right? And maybe you're doing too much eating, sleeping, partying, watching too much TV, too much YouTube, um, working too much, drinking too much, too much sex. You know, you got one foot in and one foot out. You don't know what you want to do. You you like, okay, what should I do? Right? But if you concentrate on the one thing you need to do and give everybody back everything that belongs to them, you're going to be good because, but there's something in that you did. It's a light bulb that came in your head and you said, yup, now I got the answers. Everything is just coming right to you. It's, it's a new door you open up that you didn't think you would ever open up, but you did it. And when you open it up, wow, you like, wow, this is an amazing world. Right? This is so amazing. Because now you find in your tribe, your tribe like people did, or like you, or just like you. Can give you the answers that you're seeking. It's like you're open. It's like you're a little kid. The pages are young. You're a little kid and you walk into the school of the wizards. And here I am, the teacher. You have come to the school. Uh, the wizards. What's up, Pisces? What's up? What's up? Damn it. Welcome. Damn it. That's all I can say is welcome. Welcome to the world of the wizards. You understand? And people call me all kinds of witches, but call me Miss Bitch Witch because I'm not the one to play. All right? I look at you as a human being, as a family member, not as a number. I don't time my readings. I take my time with my readings when I talk to you. I want to really feel you. I tell you the good and the bad. I don't sugarcoat anything because I don't have to. You understand? All right? But you're very quiet about everything you're doing. 
You're not letting people know how you move, what you got going on. All right? You got a lot of shit going on, Pisces. But you need to bring balance into your life. But you got a new door that's opening up for you that you never thought you had. Because it's like it's like a whole new world that you're walking into. And it's the school of the wizards. All right? To getting it, to knowing, to say, teach me how to connect with my spirituality. Teach me the way. Because when you learn the way, you will never try to control it. You will go with the flow. Right? You will, you will just swim any kind of way you want, Pisces. Because you can and you will, but you just right now you feel like it's a lot. So you tapped into YouTube and you say, well, I need to see what these people are talking about. And you say, whoa, that shit sound like my damn problem. Now, how would she know what happened to me? How would you know? <laughs> because it happened to me, shit. You know, I'm a Pisces like you, just like you. Pisces, we are all the same Pisces. We might go to different things, different situations, but it's damn near the same, you know what I mean? What? What is it? What's so different? You know? I'm not here to read tells. I go through the same thing you go through. All right? I keep my business to myself. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Yes, I need to bring balance into my life. And I always look for what's new. What's new? What's that new door that's opening up for me? Yeah. Tell me more about the um, the four pinnacles. The will of fortune. Do not try to control it. Did somebody have car problems? Did something happen to your car? Um, you got to get your car fixed. All right. Because you go from the tires being over here. But you can't control the will of fortune. Right, this is the time where you keeping things to yourself, but you, you, you I know you're keeping it to yourself, but the will of fortune tells you to continue moving on because as the will move, people will fall. They will fall like fleas, honey, off of you. Like fleas. It's like it's like you going to the beach and then you lay down after getting out the water, you got all this water on you. I mean, all this sand on you because it's sticking on you, right? You're like, damn, I got to get this sand off of me, right? So then you say, let me go back in the water and rinse myself off. But this time, I'm going to make sure I dry myself, right? Because you got to allow that was not meant for you to fall off of you, but you cannot control the will. Um. Mm -hmm. But somebody here is either traveling somewhere or you got car problems, right? But I see a lot of sun. It's like you got the strength here, a lot of a lot of power, right? Determination. But you keeping it to yourself. Whatever you're going through, you ain't letting nobody know, right? Tell me more about this temperance. Tell me more about this temperance. The, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is just like the highest priest. Somebody wants to ask for forgiveness. All right? Somebody knows they screwed up. They want to ask you for forgiveness. Somebody, um, you know, they coming back to tell you how fucked up they was. All right? Somebody want to talk to you. And this can be... um. Like, Pisces, you're pretty huge. Somebody feel bad how they treated you. Somebody's going to confess. All right? Somebody wants to confess to you. Somebody is um asking for you to forgive them. All right? Asking for your blessings. Because somebody knows that 
you doing a lot. It's like somebody put you through enough, right? So it's time to come back around and apologize, right? Um, again, now you got the, the page of wands again. So the page of wands is like you, somebody sending you some type of mail, right? They they started thinking they got an open book. So let me somebody you wait to receive some type of mail information or you gonna mail something out, right? Because but you waiting on it. Look at this. Got a rose on you keep looking like where where wait I'm waiting. Is the mail man coming yet? It's just are you coming? Are you almost here? All right. It's like put the Night with the page of swords, like you looking at the future, you opening this new door with the page of um. Okay, this ain't the page. This is the princess, which is somebody younger. A wands, right? So you looking. It's like somebody's looking for this information, right? Somebody's waiting on mail. All right. So somebody wants to come and ask you for forgiveness, but shit, the water is running, girl. The water is running. That means it's, it's somebody's in their feelings. Somebody's looking for something, but you you opening a whole new avenue. You're like, yeah, well, I'm not going to control the will after you done screwed up my car. You did something to my car, right? Or I'm not going to try to control the will because um, somebody want to travel towards you or somebody... Um, Wants to come towards you. Wants to to say they saw it about whatever went or down or what went on, all right? But they might be young. This might be a family member, a child of yours, somebody younger than you, all right? This person may be a student, um, but they're younger than you, all right? Um, might be your grandchild, your child, your cousin, your niece, your nephew. All right. Okay, Pisces. Like somebody here wants you to literally say, you know, uh, Pisces. I ain't mean to do that. Um, yeah. Somebody here is wanting to say to you, forgive me. I ain't mean to do that. But is it too late? All right. Is it too late? Did somebody say they coming your way with an apology? Are you younger than this person? Okay. What, what's going on here? Tell me what is this world fortune? Tell me what is this world fortune? Stop it, y'all two. The star. The star. Pisces, you are one, and look how sexy you are, Pisces. Like, you looking like, I'm going to wish, I got this, you know, thing here going on. I got this potion going down. This, you know, the cat's touching the potion. My witch's hat is over there, okay? Look how sexy, yeah, you damn right. You know, I ain't going to try to control this. I'm that northern star, Pisces. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm looking at, it's like, you, you're not even looking at your shadow, you know. It's like you, I don't know what you're looking, but it's not like you even looking down. It's like you, oh, did you see somebody coming? Because it looked like you're saying, oh, let me see. Look, look at your eyes. Like, who's there? Did I hear somebody? Something like you looking at, like, what's up? It's like, wish granted. Like you, you get what you wanted. All right, somebody look at you like you a superstar. Somebody look at you like you sexy as fuck. All right, you know, somebody has a black cat. All right, but you looking at something, you got, I don't know what that is, you got in your hand a bone or something. All right, but you, you looking like, you're not even looking at the stars, you're looking at what is coming. What the fuck? Like you like, you know, people be looking up and no, you looking like, uh-uh. Look at her face. She ain't looking up at no star. Look. Look at her. 
the cats over there messing with the potion. Um, is that what he's messing with the potion? Oh, the water's running into the pond. But you look like, did somebody get your attention? All right. What's going on? I mean, you can't control whatever's going to happen. Are you dealing with an Aquarius? Um, the Wheel of Fortune. Are you dealing with um, Sagittarius or Pisces? All right. A fire sign. Tell me more about this high fin. What's going on with the high fin? The three of cups. So, you got birds, a mouse. You got this man. Um, she about to feed him. Now, you know the three of cups can be celebration between... You and your family or people that you consider your family. But look at this. This look like it's more than just a family. It look like it's you and this person. And you sitting on their lap. The three of cups can also mean a third party. And it looks to me like it damn sure is. All right? Somebody wants to ask for forgiveness because they know they screwed up. All right? They know they did. All right? For the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very creative. It's like, they thinking about, how can I build this? What can I do next, right? But then you got the Knight of Swords, the fastest moving energy in the car, in the minors. Now look at this lady. She look like she is working that magic, like, woom, 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 woom. All right? She look like she, hey, 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 stop. She look like she's doing this with damn near nothing on her. All right? She got the broom. She's out there performing magic house, you know, at night. All right? And you got these stars, but somebody's burning candles. Somebody's doing something like, I don't know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a fast-moving energy. I don't know somebody out there doing black magic or magic shit up in the air or wishing and blowing shit outside, you know. Shit, what the hell? But somebody here is waiting on something here. And somebody's coming in a new path, a new somewhere of doing something. Like they they try to come and say, let's do let's do this this way. It's coming up with a new way of doing something. Thinking Something just pop up in their head and they say, I know how I'm going to do this. All right? I, I'm going to send Pisces a message. I'm going I'm to send a, a mail. Something is arriving to you. Some type of information, type of mail. All right? Um, but th this person is like whipping up something real fast. Like, boom! Like, what the fuck was that? Like, things are coming fast and this is like... This somebody's wishing for you, but you're not. It's like you. The stars are all over you, Pisces. This person sees you like a celebrity, gorgeous, sexy, right? But then you got somebody here. This cooking something, but this look like it's a party of three here. But somebody is over here. Wishing and hoping, but they don't look like they wishing and hoping on the stars. They look like they doing something. Are they burying a bone? What the hell are they doing? Are they doing some kind of evil shit? I don't know. And then they got a man and a woman. I don't see three. I only see two. So it looked like somebody's doing something on somebody. Right? Um, But then the third party sitting there waiting. Hello, well, when you coming? And then they over here butt naked, whipping up shit at night. Just doing crazy shit. Right, and they, they, they want this to move fast. They got all these candles lit. And they do they do this work at night. That that be kind of scary. And you know what? It's it's weird because this deck of cards, if I was to put these these cards out on any other deck, it won't look the pictures won't look like this. They will look totally different. Right? Um, because the pictures look so bizarre to me. And it looked like they trying to get 
up, take somebody out the picture. Like somebody here is being real sneaky and conniving and trying to get rid of somebody and doing somebody doing something on beyond somebody's back. All right. So let's throw some cards on over there. Tell me more about the star. Tell me more about this uh, star, this Aquarius. Uh, what what is going on here? What what is it? What is it? The King of Cups, love, wishing and hoping they want to love you. Can I love you? I'm wishing that you can come back to me. What the hell? I want to give you this love, Pisces. I want to show you love. I want to offer you my cups. Come on now, Pisces. It's like, okay, I'm wishing that you see. But what are you wishing on? Some love shit. Somebody doing some love magic here. Potion. Right? Tell me what this three of cup is. Somebody working on some potion. All right? Who they working on? What this kind of potion is that they doing? All right? What kind of potion they over here working up? What they making over here? With these two people. What is it? What is this three of cups? There's only two people there. Two people. Two black birds and a mouse. Right? Uh, I don't know. This this look like the Empress giving birth to something new. Somebody look at you like Beyonce. And they looking at you. They like you like what? You very creative. You're very magical. Like you you make shit pop off. You the life of the party. Shit, you put on one of them dresses you got on, one of them little, you know, little shorts. Or, you know, you know how to dress. You know how to put it on. You sexy. You smell good. You know, you turn people's head when you walk, right? That's why this person's trying to say, I can leave this third party somewhere. I got to go and ask my Pisces for forgiveness, honey. Yes. All right? Been looking, waiting for this to arrive. Pisces, you like you so elegant, you so sexy. You 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 take care of your kids, very motherly, right? You would do anything for your kids. Um, you have a big heart, but I see you holding the shield on that hand. All right, that bird. What's going on? What's going on? You shielding your heart. What, what's going on, Pisces? All right. You got that, that cross on your heart. You got the cross and then the heart right up. Yeah, baby, yeah. Like you done a lot, Pisces. You been through a lot. Like you just not, you got a lot of love here. Damn. You got a lot of green. You, you got mountains, your mountains are green with that sky blue. You know, with that one and what it's like the sky and the and the and the waters running concurrent together. So you got these big old blue. Beautiful mountains, um, full of green trees, you know, it's like, and you got yellow on the yes, to strength, the power that you got, Pisces, red and yellow and green and blue. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Tell me more about this. It's like you sprinkling something. You're like, shit, let me sprinkle this. Keep these damn bugs off me. What the fuck? Tell me more, tell me more, but it's like you wait on this information. And this information is gonna arrive. It's like these mat, these candles are gonna be lit up at night. Alright, you it's like you setting something up to see how these magic candles work. Like you lighting up candles and you doing your rituals. Right? You get the nine of cups with them rituals that you're doing. It's like you're going to gain everything. The nine of cups is what, you know that, um, Christmas and June. Christmas and June is like you opening up your presence in the summer. Like, you know, like we are on uh, cancer season, but like a lot of love. Like you, 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 you're happy. You gain what you want. You waited, you, it's like you perform these rituals with all these candles lit, all right? It's like you throw the magic and it's like, woof, poof, there it is. You know what I mean? Like, you like, yes. You know, like, it's, I, I think it would be real cool, you know, 
if I be on stage and I have all my wizards, as far as the eyes can see, nothing but wizards with these cone hats on and dressed in black and purple, any kind of color you want, it won't matter to me, okay? And then you got your brooms and like you take off like you got, you know, like you're on a rocket. Like you, you got one of them uh, fast jet airplanes. Like you riding in the air, baby. You like, you like taking that ride. And you overseeing everything from the high view, right? And God is giving you everything you want. Because you know what it is when you dip into yourself. When you dip into your own essence, your own oils, the magic that you can perform, Pisces. You were born magical. You were born with all, everybody's, and I don't mean just yours, I mean the whole, the whole will, with all the signs. You the boss. You know, and you know, people don't like, well, why you tell, no, ain't no why, I tell nobody, you're the boss, Pisces, you're the highest priest. Do you understand what the highest priest is? You, it's like you the high, you can be anybody you want, baby, the high fit, the highest priest, okay? The queen and the king of pentacles, okay? The will of fortune, the world. You can have anything you want. You just got to dip into your spirituality. And you got to know. You got to know. Right? Who you really are. To gain. Okay? That wizard. Real coat. The wizard coat, honey. You know, you, you, you walk around with a comb, but then you be dressed like, uh, what you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, what what's up? It's like you be like, shit, people might see your ass and you be like this. Like, who the hell is that? Don't worry about it. Right? But it's like you become this this beautiful, elegant, sexy. It's like, damn, she why why she gotta cover herself up like that? She's so fucking sexy. But that's who we are. We're, we're very comfortable in ourselves. You understand? We, we, we hold things to ourselves. You know, we're very magical. That's why people can't figure you out. They think you're crazy and that you're a lunatic. And then, where the hell is she on? What did you just say? Because you will leave somebody right back on their track. <clears throat> and they can't keep up with you. <clears throat> because Pisces, you are very magical. And that's the thing, people don't like it because they can't keep up with you. Like, <clears throat> they can try to defeat you, but they won't even win doing that. Because again, you got the fool. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you. All right? Somebody said, I I'm going to jump even though I don't know what I'm getting into. I, I want to I do this. Right? And that's how people see you. The Wheel of Fortune came twice. You got uh, the fool, you know. It's telling you, don't try to control a situation. Go with the flow. Keep things to yourself. You ain't got to tell people your business. You know, the less they know you, the better off you going to be. You know, uh, people try to collect information from you. But I'll be saying, you know, stay in your lane and leave me alone. Stay in your lane over there. Don't cross the lane. Because if you cross the lane, you may cause an accident. And it won't be with me. The accident won't be you crashing onto me. If you don't stay in your lane, you can do damage to yourself if you try to fuck with a bitch like me. That's what you tell them, Pisces. What, what lane you want, baby? Stay in your lane now. Tell them, stay in your lane. Don't come over here. Please don't. All right? You telling people to stop. You try to tell people you got boundaries. Stop coming over here. Stay over there. I got this in control. What's up? All right, Pisces. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.